Hello everyone, I am Kiran from PeopleLink. Today I am going to introduce you to our InstaController app, which is very easy to use and cost effective. Using this app, we can control all the audio and video devices present in your meeting rooms and simplify the way you manage your meetings and automations. This app is easily programmable and runs on Android, iOS and Blackberry platforms. So, if you also want to use controllers in your office rooms and buildings, boardrooms and conference rooms, then mention yes in the comments box and we will help you to set it up. So now meeting room is ready. It is as simple as that with uh, PeopleLink's Insta controller and its app. So it is just a simple sm small example with all the possibilities that we designed for your boardrooms and meeting rooms with the Insta PeopleLink Insta controller and its app. Okay now we will log into the Insta controller using the app with just one tap. So this is how the home page looks like. Based on the type of Insta controller you logged into RSI 552, ERSI 31074 or ERSI 31074HA, the corresponding features will get activated. We have covered all of them in different videos whose link you can find in the description box. I am currently logged into ERSI 31074 controller and the features are enabled or actually relay switches through 10 ports, controlling analog devices through 9 ports, controlling digital devices through 7 ports using serial communication, controlling digital devices through 4 ports using IR communication, and a presentation mode and PC mode. We will discuss in brief about them. Let's start with relay switches. Currently we have 10 relay switch ports on the controller to power on or off 10 or more devices that consumes up to 6 amps using each port including lights, alarms, door locks, projectors, fans, monitors etc. with a single tab. All the 10 relay ports can be configured as push type to push and hold till you attain the desired result. For example, the projector screen till it is pulled down or off. Let's go to analog devices now. Currently we have 9 analog ports on the controller that are divided into 3 zones and the user interface is corresponding to those 3 zones. Using these 9 ports we can control any analog device that takes 0 to 10 volts DC as input. For example, dimming an LED light which takes 0 to 10 volts to DC as input using an analog driver. Now let's go to digital devices. The screen looks like this and you can control multiple digital devices that can be communicated over serial, RS-232 or IR communication. Serial communication is two way while IR works in one way. Our system is designed to support multiple serial and IR protocols. Devices fall in this category or like camera, HDMI switcher, monitor, DSP, AC, projector, etc. Top three buttons are dedicated for serial communication and bottom four are hybrid buttons. Hybrid buttons can be easily programmable either for serial or IR communication. Now let's check the presentation and the VC modes. 
Presentation mode is useful to control multiple devices with single button that are required during presentation. Similarly, VC mode is useful to control multiple devices with single button during video conference. The devices can be anything that we can control individually, for example, monitor, camera, projector, lights, DSP, etc. The best part of InstaController app is easy programming which makes even beginner to use it without any difficulty. Are you using any kind of automation solutions? If yes, let me know in the comments section. Also like and share the video. I will keep sharing more videos with you about people in futuristic and cost effective technology products. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest technology news from us. Thank you.